Welcome, an interview by DJS PRC. I just wanted to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. It's been out for a while now. We have the Baja Ray 110th. This is the Mint 400, officially licensed by Ford. It is the F-150. Uh, probably the F-150 Raptor, almost ready to say. But not sure. Looks like the Raptor, but... If you're looking for a smaller version of the Baja Ray, this is would be your guaranteed best bet. It has a lot of character of the 2.0 Baja Ray. It does have the light bar in the windshield. It has the short course wheels on it. <coughs> fully caged and you can basically change the panels uh, like you want to because the front panels one the middle is a panel and both fenders in the back are a different panel it does come with a spare it is a functional spare a lot of vehicles will give you a spare tire and it's not functional it's literally for show Lucy decided to put a real one there that I do like a lot. Uh, for a body you cannot remove, I would at least put lights in it instead of just having stickers. But again, that's me. It does have a nice uh, suspension travel similar to a cantilever uh, springs in the back. The shocks are mounted to the, uh, I'm not sure if you call it a coilover or a sway bar. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but again, I do really do like the look of it. I know on the 2.0, you can make a mount here to have two tires side by side. You can 3D print them. I'm pretty sure it is available for this truck. It has the two fans in the back as a radio exhaust. They're not functional, they're just for the looks. And it does have a rear light bar. I'm ready to say it's probably in red. That way, if you do play at night, you'll be able to differentiate the difference between your front and your rear. If we put it on the side, you'll be able to see all the suspension with the sway bar and the physical shock. It is IC5s, because this one does come with a battery and you just plug it right here and turn the vehicle on. Oh, I didn't know this. It is the Mint 400. They made a thousand of this vehicle and this is the 691 version. <coughs> awesome. It does have aluminum chassis plate. And this is where you access your motor if you ever need to do something to it. But I, like I said, I love the suspension in front, the A-arms, way they're made. Let's try to take a look inside. It's a little bit harder. But you see the uh, shock mount. The bottom aluminum plate, there's an aluminum top plate not sure if you can see it I'll try to zoom in there we go camera wants to do it and doesn't want to do it it has a bottom aluminum chassis a middle aluminum chassis plate it seems very solid machine if I do compare it to the 2.0 that it is a lot bigger uh, great hobbies do have it two different colors the king and the uh, Brentel the Brentel not normal sure on that name it is a bigger machine but like I was saying if you look if you're looking for a machine that is in the, in the 110 scale this is perfect <coughs> uh, it does come with a 5002s with the Spectrum 20 watt USB charger 
It has a Spectrum 3800 KV with a firma 130 amp ESC. Oh, it does come with a 2022 Mint 400 limited edition coins. That's a neat bonus. And you have the vehicle here with basically no body on it. And yeah, the back one is red. LED bar. This is the Baja Ray 110 scale all-wheel drive brushless desert truck RTR that comes with battery and charger. And I'm ready to say this vehicle probably could take a 3S. That would be an awesome machine on 3S too. Yep. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I do appreciate it a lot. It does help the channel. And go visit greatalbies.com for all your RC needs in Canada.